Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're going to talk a little bit about some bark camouflage. So a lot of people have been asking about it and uh, figured we'd go ahead and shoot a little quick video on it. So this is our bark camouflage that we've got. Uh, the number on it is the SKO310, so the SKO310. You can find it on the website, liquidconcepts.com, of course. And so I wanted to shoot a quick video just to uh, show you guys a little bit about it and uh, how it looks and everything. So um, got a lot of humidity in the air today, of course, Arkansas is the way it is in the summertime. But um, it's rolling up a little bit, but I think it'll still be fine. So we've got our speed shape here. We're going to go ahead and just lay it out and cut it. With this film, you can use a white, you can use a beige, you can use a tan, you can use um, just about any color that you want and make it like a dark brown bark or a light bark or anywhere in between just by choosing the different base colors. So in this case, we got a white speed shape, so we're going to use the, the white color in that. So I've got plenty of room to um, allow this to roll up a little bit because I cut way more than what I need for a speed shape, but it'll be more than enough to kind of show you guys a little bit about it. So, um, let's see here. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this on the water. All right, so we'll go ahead and start a minute on the timer. Blow out the bubble there that we got and pull it on in and get it all nice and tight for the dams. Okay. So again, we've got our liquid concepts activator here. Um, we're going to be spraying this. Pretty much on this one right here, we'll probably just do one straight pass right across it. If I don't get it on the edges, not really a big deal because I'm more focused right on the middle part right here for the speed shape, so should be just fine. So we got about 10 seconds left on the timer, and uh, then we'll get to spraying. So. All right, so timer. And then now we'll get our activator. Again, you wanna make sure that you're about six inches above the water and you just want one smooth pass just like that, six to eight inches. So we'll hit it just like that. And then you can see the reflection in the water. Get it nice and glassed out. Everything looks good. So we got a couple of bubbles right in here. Not really a big deal. They shouldn't affect it too much at all. So then we'll take and get this here, dip it down, and there you go. So that is the SKO 310. Now again, it's a little bit lighter than what I would probably prefer, but with the nice thing with this is, is you can actually take and put it underneath a brown or a tan or anything like that, and you can dramatically change the color on it. So. If you have any questions or anything, definitely give us a call or you can check us out online, liquidconcepts.com. And uh, until next time, thank you guys.